There we are as we build up uh, in a very big way to uh, what is about to approach us. And I'm talking about the FIFA World Cup draw. Uh, what are your expectations as Ghana readies to get into that draw? FA officials and uh, the technical team will be heading into Rio in Brazil for the official draw for Brazil 2014. Also, we are getting into the final days for that big bout of destiny featuring Joseph, uh, the King Kong Agbeko, and uh, Cuba's uh, Guillermo Rigondeau, who's undefeated, just under 15 fights, and the man has uh, so much control in the Super Bantamweight division. I'll also be telling you about what is happening in the Ghana Premier League, where the man... Uh, Mohamed Ahmed Polo started on a very bright note, leading Ghana into that, um, you know, that uh, leading uh, the uh, Accra Hearts of Oak team into that victory yesterday. We'll be telling you about all of that here. And of course, yesterday marked 50 years of uh, winning uh, a Nations Cup for Ghana. Exactly 15 years since uh, the Black Stars of 1963 won the first Nations Cup for Ghana. So what are the lessons to be learned from that time till now? We'll be talking about all of that. And remember, you can send in your thoughts. is 1760. And also, you can get on my Facebook wall as we talk. Michael Essien has been handed a lifeline. Michael Essien will be playing in the UEFA Champions League when the August window, when the Janu January window, I beg your pardon, opens. And of course, this surely is a very, very big one for him. Of course, he had a little blunder yesterday, which cost uh, his club a goal, but eventually Chelsea won uh, by uh, three uh, goals to one. And of course, their man, uh, John Terry, the skipper, is now 400 caps experienced at Chelsea. Well, 400th cap, uh, he, met, he uh, recorded his 400th cap yesterday in that game that was played in the EPL. And of course, uh, in the Joy Sports feature, it was Arsenal uh, showing even bigger form. And we'll be bringing you all of those highlights right here on the show. So, it's 50 years after Ghana won her very first Africa Cup of Nations trophy, and that was right here in Ghana. So, what are your thoughts? And uh, 50 years on, are you proud of what you see, of our achievements in terms of the silverware and all four titles to both? Off at the African level, and um, well, no World Cup yet, but it is hoped that maybe some uh, something uh, different is going to happen in subsequent years. So, sending your thoughts. Remember, the show is always big on your views, and I'll be telling you about how Barcelona seem to be having it tough without the man Lionel Messi, who is sitting out injured. Barcelona recorded their very first league loss yesterday, and uh, we'll be talking about that. All of that here and more on the show. And you have to stay tuned. You know this is Sports Today. One hour and 30 minutes of nothing but pure action. Remember, the FIFA World Club Championship is coming right here on this channel. A lot to look forward to this December. A round of commercials and we go straight to the newspapers. Your new lighting really provides the finishing touch. Where did you get this from? Global Lighting Center, of course. They've always been affordable and their quality is second to none. When it comes to lighting, there's only one name, Global Lighting Center. We've got all the latest European models. It's not just the quality outside. Our office lighting features European standard capacitors and ballast to protect your products. Our outdoor lights are weather protected and their diffusers won't discolor over time. Moreover, we offer technical advice to all our customers before and after sales. All of which convinced me and my family that Global Lighting has the brightest ideas and at the most affordable prices for all our lighting needs. Global Lighting Center, your solution to quality lighting. Tamale Get Ready, Multi TV will be launching its new service center in Tamale on the 4th of December 2013 to commemorate this event there will be a float on the municipal streets of Tamale a football gala in which participants will win amazing prizes like LCD TVs fridges rechargeable fans wax prints and more on the 6th of December 2013 multi TV installers will visit home to home to provide free after sales support and instant installation on all all sales, multi TV, just thrills. For free, multi TV, multi TV for free.
<laughs> I'm always excited when uh, we talk about the FIFA Club World Cup. Every uh, player who thinks that he's the best at club level in the world is going to be on that stage. Remember, uh, Ronaldinho, the man who has wonderful skills, amazing stepovers and all of that. He's going to be pulling some of them off uh, together with his fantastic set pieces and all of that at the FIFA Club World Cup, which is live here on the Joy Sports channel on Multi-TV. We'll be telling you more in subsequent shows. But right now, let's focus on what happened in the English Premier League. And, of course, uh, Chelsea... Uh, recording some, you know, very, very uh, impressive performances. Manchester United drawing 2-2 away. And, of course, uh, Arsenal showing a lot of strength. Liverpool slipping. And uh, it was a rather, rather disappointing one, considering that Liverpool have been rather strong this season. So, uh, before that, we'll be getting into what is in the newspapers. Michael Essien headlines in the graphic sports. And it says, Mourinho changes mind on Essien. And, of course, Michael Essien will feature in the Ghana Premier League. Sorry, in the uh, UEFA Champions League. <laughs> well, featured in the Ghana Premier League uh, several seasons ago with Liberty Professionals, and now he finds himself getting a lifeline. So there we are. Mourinho has changed his mind on uh, Michael Essien. And of course, Mohamed Polo inspired a crowd hearts of Oak to a big win. And uh, very, very impressive, uh, making it a very big win. All right, so let's get into the inside uh, of the uh, graphic sports newspaper. And uh, this is it. There is commentary, and there are big reminiscences from 1963. So, um, there we are. Reminiscences on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of Ghana's first ever Africa Cup of Nations triumph. And uh, this is written by um, Thomas Freeman Yeboa of Metro FM. Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah in one of his very inspirational moods. Uh, carrying the trophy up there is um, Agri Finn. That was the trophy. And of course, Nana Kumi Jemfi, CK Jemfi, the man who powered it from the technical bench, also there on that page. And of course, Ohenejan, the then director of sports, who inspired as well from the administrative tables and did a lot of work in the back. So we celebrate all our gallant heroes on this day, uh, you know, 50 years and one day after that very, very historic feat. Let's go into the local Premier League, and this is action from a match day 13. That was, uh, that's a very, very interesting shot at the bottom of the page. We'll be coming to it in a bit. But uh, goalkeeper Osei Boating of Bichim United uh, expressing some displeasure to the referee. And there we are. He was stretched to elastic limits just to get his feet to the ball and control it. Yaya Mohamed scoring yesterday as well. The man who's gradually becoming the toast of fans at Stadia where he plays. And Yaya Mohamed uh, was the skipper who uh, inspired the local Black Stars to win the Chan Tournament. Okay, so Andros Townsend um, is featured. That's England's new kid. <laughs> Andros Townsend is featured on the Lifestyle page of the Graphic Sports newspaper. There we are. So there's a full profile, uh, a brief one at that for this youngster, and you'd want to catch a little bit of it. So there we are. And um, we also get into Giggs, the man who is evergreen at age 40. So there we are. And John Brewin of ESPN wrote this one. Um, this is such an amazing player. Dedication to its fullest. And, of course, several years of patience and hard work paying off big time for Ryan Giggs. You surely would want to read this one on Ryan Giggs in the graphic sports newspaper. We also get into Europe in the center spread. And of course, there it is, uh, action from inside of Spain, where Gareth Bale scored his very first hat trick. Who said that the money will not pay off? <laughs> Gareth Bale scoring his first hat, tr hat trick for Real Madrid. And of course, Barcelona. Losing and um, now Atletico 
Madrid are at par with them on the top of the table. And of course, Mesut Ozil also still doing a lot more magic. Well, there are pictures from the Coca-Cola FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour, also in the Graphic Sports newspaper. And uh, Sports Minister Elvis Afriye Ankara, together with Kwesi Nyantechi, the FA president, pose in front of the trophy. And there's a lady fan who's just amazed at seeing the World Cup. <laughs> Obviously, one of the very few opportunities one could get in a lifetime. <laughs> ah, she stares in so much admiration. All right, so um, um, there's a, a former heavyweight champion who's been jailed over selling cocaine and uh, Herbie Hyde is going straight to jail for dealing in drugs at the commercial level. So there it is. Uh, Gareth Bale scores his very first hat trick. We'll be showing you that in a bit. And also we get into the 90 Minutes newspaper, which uh, goes into a bit of controversy, the very unfortunate story of... Uh, Ex uh, Ghana international Neil Dati Lamte noticing that or realizing through a DNA test that all his three children with his wife of over 20 years, Gloria, were not his. So, uh, former Big Brother Africa star Elikem has denied having an affair with uh, Neil Dati Lamte's wife. Trabzon Sport confirm Jan Move and Odati. My story inside of the uh, 90 Minutes newspaper. We look on the back page, and there's a rewind of uh, the big moments in Europe. Cardiff uh, bowing by three goals to Arsenal. Borussia Dortmund hitting three past Mainz, who managed to get a goal. Everton beat Stoke City by four goals to nil. And Romelu Lukaku was the man who scored again to make uh, Coach Jose Mourinho wonder, why did I let that boy go? <laughs> Okay, so there we are, and um, this is uh, the story. I'm sure you'd want to read this one. Um, very humble dude, uh, Odati Lamte, finding himself in very challenging times here. And uh, he found out after a DNA test that all his three children, whom he thought he had fathered, were not actually his. And uh, one person caught up in the controversy is um, Elikem Kumoji of Big Brother Africa fame. Let's do some more here. And the Ghana Sports newspaper, there we are. I did not impregnate Odate's wife, according to uh, Elikem. And uh, Muntari gets uh, 40 stitches for his leg injury. That's sad there. German-born defender for Black Stars ahead of World Cup. Okay. And uh, Coach Kwesi Apia has uh, severally stated that uh, his doors are always open. So um, we'll see how all of that goes. Andre Didiayu there, and uh, he is uh, undergoing some training and um, trying to recover after surgery. So there we are, Andrea Yu. So there it is. Okay, so let's now get into... There we are. So these are the results. Tottenham Hotspur 2, Manchester United 2, uh, Hull City beating Liverpool 3-1. Surprise result there. And of course, uh, Chelsea... Uh, recovering to win by three goals to one against Southampton. And, of course, Manchester City winning three against uh, San, uh, Sa Swansea City. Uh, Sunderland and Aston Villa drawing goal as Arsenal, winning by uh, three goals to nil against Cardiff. Everton beating Stoke City by four goals to nil. Norwich beating Crystal Palace by one goal to nil. West Ham beating Fulham by three goals to nil. And that was uh, what resulted in the final sack of coach uh, Martin Yeo. And um, Newcastle United uh, beat... West Bromwich Albion by uh, two goals to one. Let's now get into action in the Spanish La Liga. And it just looks like um, Barcelona are suffering. But before that, this is what it's looking like. Arsenal there on, um, four, on a four-point lead. Chelsea following Manchester City, uh, Liverpool, Everton, Newcastle, United, Southampton, and Manchester United. Wow. 
uh, Tottenham also there. So uh, Arsenal, Chelsea, uh, and of course, uh, Liverpool as well. Cardiff City, Stoke City, West Ham United, and uh, Norwich all in trouble there. So they need to back up big time. Of course, um, uh, Sunderland, uh, Crystal Palace also there. Fulham, mm, remember that Fulham uh, now have a new manager in charge after Martin Yor was sacked. So... All right, so there it is. Uh, Real Betis and Real Vallecano drawing 2-2. Sevilla beating Granada by two goals to one away. Uh, Valencia winning 3-0 against Osasuna. Atletico Madrid uh, beat uh, Elche by two goals to nil, and that has put them at par with Barcelona at the top of the league table. Celta Vigo uh, beating Almeria by three goals to one. And, of course, the 4-0 drubbing of Valladolid by uh, Real Madrid. Espanyol losing 2-1 at home to Real Sociedad. And uh, Hetafe beating Levante by one goal to nil, while Villarreal and Malaga settled for a 1-1 draw. Let's take a look at the table quickly. And um, it's Barcelona and Atletico Madrid on 30 points each. So it's just uh, a goal that separates them. And, of course, uh, Barcelona have a game in hand as well. So Real Madrid there in third place, Villarreal, Atletico Bilbao, uh, Real Sociedad, Hetafe, Sevilla, and Espanyol. And, okay, so there it is. Um, Valencia, Elche, Granada, Levante, Sota Vigo, Malaga, Osasuna, Rayo Vallecano, and Real Valladolid. So these are the teams to watch. Almeria, Real Betis, not really having it well and uh, need to step it up. Uh, otherwise, would have to uh, bow into the uh, second tier. Let's all. So these are the results, of course, what we just saw, 3-1 for AC Milan against Catania. And, of course, AS Roma and Atlanta drawing 1-1. One, one, and uh, it's a 2-2 draw. Uh, that was it for Cagliari and Sassuolo. And uh, Kevo Verona smiled 3-0 uh, against uh, Livorno. Sampdoria and Inter Milan drew 1-1. One, one. And Juventus uh, beat Udinese by uh, a goal to nil. Parma and uh, Bologna drawing 1-1. One, one. And, of course, Genoa and Torino drawing 1-1. One, one. Let's take a look at the table quickly. And... Um, this is Juventus still enjoying a, a three-point lead uh, there at the top of the Italian uh, Serie A table. Let's take a look at uh, what's looking like on the rest of the table. And there it is, uh, Parma and uh, Atalanta there on 17 points each. And uh, there, Catania and Sampdoria not having the best of times in the Italian Serie A. Let's now. All right, so there we are. Hanover Night 6 beating Eintracht Frankfurt and uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach beating Freiburg by one goal to nil. Uh, Leverkusen winning 3-0 against uh, Nuremberg and Bayern Munich beating Braunschweig by two goals to nil. Um, Augsburg and Hertha Berlin drawing goalless and, of course, Borussia Dortmund beating Mainz by three goals to one. It's 4-4 between Hoffenheim and Werder Bremen and Schalke 0-4 won three, go three goals to nil against Stuttgart. And, of course, Hamburg... Uh, beat Hamburg and Wolfsburg sharing a 1-1 scoreline. So that's it. Uh, Bayern Munich uh, enjoying that uh, four-point lead at the top of the uh, Bundesliga table. And uh, Bayer Leverkusen also there. And uh, they've got a pretty appreciable goal build-up. Borussia Dortmund there in the background uh, still uh, putting up that chase. And uh, this is how it is looking like on the first half of the uh, Bundesliga table. And uh, let's go to the uh, second part. You have uh, teams like Braunschweig uh, coming into the uh, top flight. They haven't done too well and uh, need to back up. All right, so let's now go into what, is, uh, what happened uh, at the weekend in the French Ligue 1. Uh, let's take a look. There we are, Paris Saint-Germain. <coughs> Monaco and uh, Radamel Falcao. Uh, I beg your pardon, this is uh, the game between Paris Saint-Germain and uh, Olympic Lyon. And uh, that was a beautiful uh, first goal for Paris Saint-Germain. And so uh, 
this surely would have been a goal, but there's no doubt about that. That it surely is a penalty. Beautiful, beautiful conversion. And uh, Zlatan Imaevovic uh, will not disappoint, especially after he missed out on the biggest uh, stage. Beautiful, simple, cheeky ease. And they'll always remind me of the likes of Andrea Pelo. Ships the bottom. And there it is. Great wits there, great skill there. And you want to watch that three million times more. So Paris Saint-Germain up by two goals to nil. And uh, the skipper makes it three. So there we are. Beautiful goal there. So the action continues. And uh, Paris Saint-Germain will press on after three goals. And there, another penalty. And the man, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, brought down. Everybody uh, supporting PSG was basically just having fun. So take a look. And um, he will make no mistakes converting two penalties on the night. Uh, so let's take a look at the results. Marseille beating uh, Montpellier by two goals to nil. Saint-Étienne beating Reims. Stade Reims by four goals to nil. Monaco winning 2-0 against Rennes. Uh, Lille beating Valenciennes by one goal to nil. Guingamp beating uh, Nantes by one goal to nil. Lorient and winning 3-0. And of course, Toulouse beating Sochaux by five goals to one. Bordeaux also beat uh, Ajaccio 4 0, while Evian Tonon Gailad lost 2 uh, 0 away at Bastia. Let's briefly take a look at the table, and there it is a slim one point lead Paris Saint Germain, Lille, AS Monaco, and Marseille. Marseille, remember, do not have the services of Andre de Diaiu, who is uh, recovering uh, after having a surgery. The rest of the table here for you, and this is how it looks like in the French League. Uh, So uh, the bottom two, Sochaux and Ajaccio, sharing points and have conceded uh, so many goals and have a deficit of 16 and 17, Ajaccio and Sochaux respectively, after 15 match days. Okay, there we are. Those are the highlights for you. So Mohamed Polo, he has won his first game in charge of Accra Hearts of Oak. Remember that uh, Mohamed Polo uh, was giving the job of uh, head coach of Accra Hearts of Oak when he um, agreed to terms and uh, took over from uh, Coach Duncan, who parted ways with the club. So it was a 1-0 win for Accra Hearts of Oak over Ebuswan Dwarfs. Let's now take a look at the other results. Uh, irrespective of this win, Asante Kotoko still remain at the top because they also ensured a win. Uh, Heart of Lions beating Brekum Chelsea by two goals to nil. Liberty Professionals winning 2-1 against Bechim at the Accra Stadium. Ashanti Gold winning 1-0 against Hazakas. Inter Allies lost 1-0 to King Faisal. And of course, Asante Kotoko beating Amidaos two goals to nil in uh, uh, Tema. Mediama SC and Edubiasi drawing 1-1. One, one. Uh, Dwarfs, they lost 1-0 uh, to Accra Hearts of Oak in uh, Cape Coast. So let's take a look at the table. There it is, four points. Um, and of course, the goal difference is very, very slim. One between Hearts and Kotoko. And uh, it's four points. Kotoko still there at the top. And Ashanti Gold in third place. Mediama SC in fourth place. Let's take a look at the other half of the uh, Ghana Premier League table. All right, so there we are. And uh, Inter Allies really, really need to save themselves after this debut season has not gone too well for them. And the former champions, Brekum, Chelsea, interesting. All right, so uh, that's it. And, of course, uh, Midyama have signed uh, a player from Asante Kotoko. Let's take uh, a look at that. And, of course, a uh, former Hearts of Oak defender, uh, Kofi Ejari has sealed the deal with Asante Kotoko, and uh, he 
has gone for an undisclosed fee. In the meantime, let me just read a few of your messages which have come in. Nat, yesterday's game was a clear indication that Mata is still the best number 10 for Chelsea with him. We created so many chances, but when Oscar is in that position, we hardly create chances. And Torres was like a thorn in the flesh for Southampton. I dare say I echo to all my blue army for such a sweet comeback. In Mourinho, we trust. This is from Bismarck, Kwame, Chelsea, Edu. And Yuan uh, Dos Hazard says, Barcelona without Messi is like rice without stew. Rebirth Hassel Atta says, those who are saying Barca without Messi is not a team should stop saying that because Messi and Barca are the best in the world and the best player and the best team of the century. Okay. <laughs> Interesting thoughts there on my Facebook wall. Let's go in and do some more stories. And um, as Michael Essien has been included in the UEFA Champions League squad, like I mentioned to you earlier on. And uh, Coach Jose Mourinho has decided to place Michael Essien in that team that will continue playing in the UEFA Champions League. And, of course, um, this is surely, surely very, very good and refreshing news for Michael Essien, who, uh, you know, um, is replacing uh, Marco van Ginkel uh, in the squad. And remember that Michael Essien uh, fell down the pecking order, especially during the period when Roberto Di Matteo came into Chelsea and also won the UEFA Champions League. I remember that uh, Michael Essien had to sit out on the bench during that game. Okay, so let's also go to uh, Derek Boating, who now has a new boss, at uh, Fulham. Now, uh, Martin Yo, remember, was sacked, and uh, now there's a new manager at uh, Fulham. And this will mean that. Uh, Derek Boating will play under a new manager, and of course, um, Coach Mullenstein is now in charge of the team. So, Rain uh, Mullenstein will. Uh, be in charge of the team and already he says that uh, Fulham must make sure they buy players. Okay, Kevin Prince Boating to be used at the striker at the World Cup. That is what is emerging as uh, Kevin Prince Boating is going to be a striker at the 2014 World Cup uh, and uh, his German club uh, Schalke uh, experimented the midfielder as an attacker as well. So Kevin Prince Boating will be getting that role. Remember that he scored uh, for Ghana at the South Africa 2010 FIFA World Cup against the United States of America. Let's also go for another story on a Ghanaian player. And uh, Lee Adi is in the news. He is also yearning for a place at the FIFA World Cup. And uh, Lee Adi uh, is hoping to land uh, a place in Coach Kwesi Apia's team that will play at the FIFA World Cup. Tunisian will be uh, smiling to the bank. And uh, Tunisian giants um, Esperance and Club African are, are after one of Ghana's players. I'll be telling you about that story later on. But of course, uh, Ruud Kroll, who is in charge of CX Faxian, was surely very, very delighted after the game. And uh, this is a very big feather in his cap, uh, especially when they beat uh, a very strong side on the African continent uh, in uh, TP Mazembe uh, to win that. And also, Al Ali striker Ahmad Meteb is also yearning for honors at the FIFA World Club uh, Championship, which uh, is happening between December 11 and December 21. Remember, that tournament will be here live on Joy Sports as Africa hosts the rest of the world. is coming to us live from Morocco. And of course, uh, it surely is going to be a very, very, very big time of uh, football. And uh, Raja Casablanca will represent as hosts. And, of course, uh, al Ahli will be looking forward to extending their dominance to the world stage. And, of course, uh, developments within uh, Raja Casablanca indicate that they have sacked their coach, Mohamed Fakir, uh, two weeks to the start of the World Club Championship in Morocco. This surely is going to come as a very big challenge for them, working without their coach at a major tournament such as this. And uh, tickets are out for the uh, third edition of the African Nations Championship, and uh, they are now in sale on sale for. Uh, uh, sorry, they are now on sale in the uh, in South Africa ahead of this tournament, which will happen in January of 2014.
So there it is, uh, Cristiano. Um, Joseph Yobo, the captain of uh, the Super Eagles, together with Peter Odemwinje, who have been overlooked, uh, are hoping to impress Nigeria coach Stephen Keshi to make it into the FIFA World Cup. Odemwinje playing his football in England, and uh, of course, Joseph Yobo, a very key part of Nigeria's uh, campaigns over the years, and very, very experienced captain indeed, hoping to get into. Uh, Coach uh, Stephen Keshi's side. And of course, the West Bromwich Albion uh, midfielder Yusuf Mulumbu has hinted that he could be on his way uh, out of the club uh, in the winter after revealing that he has been approached by several clubs. So the midfielder looking forward to uh, getting opportunities elsewhere. So let's uh, now do a little bit of boxing, and I'll tell you why. It's because uh, Vitaly Klitschko, who is running for president in Ukraine uh, for the next election, had to use his influence to uh, disperse a crowd. Okay, so there we are. Vitaly Klitschko, he's been uh, carried shoulder high, and uh, he had to speak to these uh, protesters. And uh, he told all of them to calm down. And it's just amazing how he put everybody else under control, and some of them are looking to just disperse. So this is how protests went in Ukraine. And uh, he uh, decides to, you know, Put everybody under control so they don't come in uh, contact with the police. So he told all of them to go back. And uh, there he gestures there. So uh, a, a great sportsman using his influence to uh, calm people down. Uh, of course, they are very, very irate and very passionate uh, protesters. I'll be bringing you the goal of, uh, I'm talking about the moment of the day. Obviously, it was a goal, a uh, football goal, and uh, Sandro scored for Spurs against Manchester United. I'll be bringing you that in a bit as the moment of the day. But thank you very much for joining us. There's a very big build-up here on Joy Sports as we look ahead to the FIFA World Cup draw in Brazil on Friday. And, of course, the next day it will be Joseph Agbeko uh, uh, fighting against Guillermo Rigondo in uh, New Jersey, USA. Surely a very, very big weekend uh, approaching us. We also say salutes to all the gallant heroes of 1963 who won Ghana's first Africa Cup of Nations trophy. And uh, we surely will continue to celebrate them throughout the week. So this has been the show, Joy Sports. Uh, and uh, later on in the day, jo uh, George Addo Jr. will be bringing you a uh, football show as we look ahead to the FIFA World Club Championship, which is live here on the Joy Sports channel on Multi TV. Of course, there's a big exclusive interview with Coach Kwesi Apia coming up on this channel as well. You always have to keep it here. Get your DigiBox box as we get into Christmas. Okay, I say thank you and salute to the whole uh, production team here at Joy Sports. Wednesday will be the next stop. My name is Nathaniel Atto, and I have love for sport. Restart through one of the goals of the season.